My note to Bert was, you got to make it Bert. You got to put yourself into it. So he would sometimes change the dialogue just to make it sound a little bit more in his voice. But so many of the jokes, the situations, the action, the drama, all that stuff was on the page. Those guys did an amazing job. Listen, mode here. Peter, we are absolutely in prime axe killing mode. I feel like this is a punishment that you guys put me in by being so close yeah, to the axe throwing. You threw the short straw on the placement here. I, I did. I, I'll shield you. I got you. Thank Don't you. worry. I felt like you guys could have given me the spot at the flip cup or like the, or like the food stands, but no, the axe throwing. You know what? It's in the spirit of the movie to live on the yeah. edge. So. Hey, and that's what I'm here. That's what I'm all about. Listen. The Machine is a story that I I couldn't wait to be seen. I couldn't wait to see it on a screen. Now we're actually going to see it. What was it about the about the Machine that excited you to, to, for fans to see this on screen? You know, I think for me, I knew the original story. I'm a fan of Burt's. Uh, this is a whole new shade of Burt. It really, it's going to surprise the hell out of a lot of people. It's He's doing something totally different, and we are taking the truth of that story that is a little different from what people have seen before. So it's it's full of surprises. Now, this is Burt's first time being a leading man in a feature film. What did Burt bring to his role as Burt that wasn't actually on the page? You know, Burt brought... Bert, and I say that to mean he opened himself up, he shared parts of himself that are not part of who he is on stage, real emotion, real feelings of being a father, what it's like to have daughters, so he was very, very open and just trusting in this process, which made the performance great. You guys got the amazing Mark Hamill to play Bert's father. Mark Hamill's a legend. I can only imagine what it's like directing him. Talk to me about what surprised you the most about working with Mark. You know, I think for Mark, it's the same thing. He's he's Luke Skywalker. He could come in and just do his own thing and not want to take direction if he wanted to. He's a legend. But he is, again, so open. He was very upfront. He was like, I trust you to make this funny and to make my performance good. And he threw himself into the role. And again, like Bert, I think he's going to surprise people too. It's a whole new side of Mark. Now, this is a movie that is going to have a lot of laughs. How much of what we see is actually on the page opposed to improv? You know, the funny thing is, it's very much on the page. Uh, Scotty Landis, Kevin Beagle wrote an incredible script. My note to Bert was, you got to make it Bert. You got to put yourself into it. So he would sometimes change the dialogue just to make it sound a little bit more in his voice. But so many of the jokes, the situations, the action, the drama, all that stuff was on the page. Those guys did an amazing job. Now, Bert told us earlier tonight that he'd like to do a machine two and three. Would you be on board for that? And what do what some of those stories look like to you? We have talked about a machine too. I have, would love to do it. Working with Bert is so much fun. Uh, I can't say too much, but I know that we might go south of the border. There might be a little kidnap situation down there. So we'll see. We'll see if it happens. We can't wait to see it. We can't wait to see the machine tonight. It's an incredible story. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Appreciate Pleasure, it. Pleasure, man. Thank you. Thank you.